Wormpool has a butt for a face, which on the one hand is kind of funny, but on the other hand, you know, yeah, caterpillars are weird little creatures. It instinctively makes sense that its head would look like that. And it's a weirdness that persists into the rest of it, with all the scrungly little bits and spikes and bumps all over it. Silcoon and Cascoon are functionally the exact same design with tiny differences, but the real diversity comes from Beautifly and Dustox, which are almost polar opposites. Beautifly is adorable and rather humanoid, looking almost like a chibi alien with a long snout and colorful, daintily shaped wings. It is designed almost entirely for, as the name implies, visual appeal. Dustox, on the other hand, is this freaky little flying pillbug missile with compound eyes and maggot limbs whose ragged wings are sharp and almost look like they could cut you. It looks alien and off-putting, pushing the cutesy Pokemon style as far into creepy insect territory as it possibly can. And honestly, fair play to this evolution line for that. I do love that you can get either an adorable vision of beauty or a total horror show entirely at random, depending on a hidden stat that the game refuses to tell you. That's bold, and that's something that makes Pokemon fun.